All right, well, this is part three. If you haven't seen parts one and two, you're not gonna know what's going on. This is, I mean, these are different puzzles, so you can watch these without seeing the other ones, but they're all part of a bigger puzzle pack. So uh, links in the description to those previous ones, uh, but basically we're doing the final seven puzzles of this 21 puzzle Christmas present that was a secret Santa gift for someone named Michael by Piotr V. And so let's continue with puzzle number 15. All right, next up is a Hashi Wokakero, or uh, Hashi, as I think a lot of people call it, uh, which is much easier to say. I don't know how you actually say it. I'm just making that up. Uh, but it's something like that. Hashi, Hashi Wokakero. I think something close to that, hopefully. Anyways, um, this one, some of you might be familiar with, even if you haven't done a lot of these pencil puzzles before, because I think this is one that often shows up in like puzzle books and stuff. But we're connecting circles with bridges. This is also called crossing bridges sometimes. Um, the bridges are straight horizontal and vertical lines. You, they connect between two of the numbers, something like this. You can have multiple bridges. Um, you can have at most two bridges connecting two circles. So we can do two bridges here. We can't do more than two. Even like at the six here and the three, you can't do more than two between two circles. The numbers tell you how many total bridges are connected to that number. So like the two could have one from each side or uh, one across and down, or it could have two in the same direction. It just has to have two total. Uh, bridges cannot intersect or cross over each other. So you can't do one here and one there. They can't cross each other. The bridges are not allowed to cross. And they all, all the bridges have to form one connected network. You can't just have like the three here connected to that, three connected to that, three, and then like they're by themselves. They have to all connect one big network and that's all we need to know so let's reset the timer okay so i mean clearly this three can only connect to that three and that three same with all all of them in the corners they only have two options to connect to and they need three bridges and they can only have two at most with each neighbor so they have to have at least one with both of their neighbors so we can go ahead and draw those in we know we know this is forced. Now, which side they have their other one on is less clear. Uh, but, and these, these, okay, so this gets two, it could go there, it could have another one up or down, we don't really know. Now the six, the six, how many neighbors does the six have that it can connect to? It only has three, it has the two threes and the two. And it needs to have six bridges, it can only have two with each neighbor, it has to have two with each neighbor. It needs at least two, it can have at most two, therefore it has two. Now, this three, where can it get its third one from? It doesn't have anybody below it, anybody to the left. It can only connect to the two. Same with this three, it can only connect to the two. Now the twos are done, so the three here and the three here have to connect down. Those threes are done, so this three has to connect across. Now these threes could connect to each other potentially, but here's the problem. How do these six in here, the three, four, three, three, four, three, how do they connect to the rest of the grid? The only way those six can connect to the rest of the network is through these threes down here. So they can't connect to each other. At, at least one of them has to connect up. And if one of them does, the other one also does because then it can't connect to the other one anymore. And they can only do the one, so they have to be two from those threes sticking over. Oop, the fours can't connect to each other because they cross a bridge. The other two have to come down and that leaves the last one there. There we go. And it makes an M as expected. Very nice. Okay, on to the next one. All right, next up is an acre. Now, uh, a lot of these puzzle types have been around for a while, but this one I happen to know is very new. It's only a couple years old. It was created by Eric Fox, who also made F puzzles that some of you use to set Sudokus. So um, it's kind of an, a newer puzzle genre. Uh, it, is, it sort of takes some, some themes from other puzzles and combines them. So rules are shade some cells of the grid according to the following rules. And a number in a region indicates how many cells in that region are shaded. So like the one down here, we're gonna have to have one shaded cell in this region. Uh, a region without a number can have any number, including zero. Uh, all shaded cells in the grid must form a single orthogonally contigu contiguous area. Okay, we've done that before. We know that we can't have you know, some shaded cells down here and then nothing connecting them. All the shaded cells have to be connected. And there may not exist a run of more than three shaded or unshaded cells anywhere in the grid. So if we have four unshaded in a row, that's not allowed. 
You can't have more than three. Same with the shaded. You can't have four in a row of shaded. Now that's just horizontally or vertically. You can do, you know, as many as you want, something like this. That's all fine. It doesn't, this doesn't count as a run. It's just horizontally or vertically in a row. And that's all we needed to know. So let's reset the timer. And here we go. So, I mean, the twos obviously have to be full. <laughs> Those are the only options there. Now, if we had this one, we'd have five in a row. So that has to be unshaded. We know that much. Now, these have to be all right, Future Scott jumping in here. Um, the acre was a struggle. I could not... Uh, there was a spot in the middle where I just got stuck for a long time and I could not see where to go. And I eventually figured it out um but it was I, I, the time was it was really long for one thing and i even took a break in the middle and went and got my lunch <laughs> so and the timer kept going because i forgot to stop it so we're just not gonna have the timer on this one and i'm gonna probably fast forward through a lot of the solve because it's gonna be way too long and boring otherwise um i don't know that it was really that hard of an acre i just i struggled at it so i don't know who knows anyways on to my bad solve of an acre Shaded, and this section is not connected so that has to be unshaded if this one is again these are unshaded so that one can't be so either one of these could be shaded though but we do have three unshaded here so this is now shaded which is our only one for the ones there right now if we do this these three are isolated again so it has to be this one this is unshaded uh, and these three have to connect to the rest of the shaded somehow so they've got to come out here that's good, that's good. Now, this one has to connect somehow, so it's there, which is the only one for that region. And again, we gotta keep going to connect out. Uh, this two, I don't know from there. Now, if this one was shaded, hmm, yeah, that's okay, I think, because we could do like that and then connect to the five somehow, or like that and connect to the five somehow. So that's that's doable. This one cannot be the single one in here, though. We know that's unshaded. 11 cells in here are shaded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 16 in here. But we know we can't do all four at the top or the bottom. So we're down to 14 cells. And we've got to have at least two unshaded, you know, in the vertical sections here. So out of the 16, we know at least four are unshaded. So that only leaves 12. So most of them have to be shaded, actually. But I don't know what that tells us about which ones are shaded. So I'm not sure there yet. Now we do have six in here and we need to shade five of them. So there's only one unshaded cell in these five, but I don't know how to tell which one is that one unshaded cell. Same thing here, we've got six. Ah, we can't shade all four of these, right? So one of those four has to be unshaded, therefore these two have to be shaded. We can know that much. And what else, what else can we say? What else can we say? I don't know. I don't know what else we can say yet. This is another puzzle genre that I haven't really done enough to figure out the logic of it yet. Well, so here's something to think about. This has to connect to, to the rest of the grid somehow. If we come this way, it's isolated. It's going to have to connect through the, the two region here, right? So one of these two is going to have to be shaded, at least. Because either this extends down, and then it's got to come over or down to connect here to the five. Or it comes here, and then it's got to come down and connect to the five. So either way, this one has to be shaded to connect to the two. But we don't know if it connects here. Oh, but we can't. No, 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 we can't. <laughs> of course, we can't go farther down because we'd have four in a row. And this is three. Oh, this is three greens in a row, so we have to do that. Okay. That was all sitting there for a long time. Very obvious. Now this has to come down here. Has to all connect. This has to be unshaded because we have three in a row. This is three in a row. That has to be shaded. It has to... Ooh, how do we... 
do that. That doesn't work. Oh, what did I do wrong? I did something wrong. That doesn't have to come down to connect. That doesn't. This needs to go over. Right. So these three... Uh, wait, what did I... What did I... Hold on. What did I do? Why did I shade those? This comes down here. This is shaded. This has to be shaded, right? No, it doesn't. That's unshaded. It could do this. It could do this. In fact, if it comes down there, this is unshaded. Why did I shade all three of these? I don't know why I did that. Okay, that's right. We got that much. These three are unshaded, which forces this one to be shaded. So that's our two. These are actually unshaded. This is shaded. And it has to come up and out that way because these are unshaded. That's what it needs to do. Okay, um, now we can't do this one because we have four in a row. And so that's the one in this that's unshaded. The other five have to be shaded. We've got three in a row, so this is not shaded. Uh... So that's one of them that's unshaded in the 11 here. Ah, this can't be shaded because we'd have four in a row unshaded. So that one's unshaded. This, and so therefore this has to be shaded because we have three, in fact, both sides have to be because we've got three greens in a row. And this has to get connected to the rest of the grid somehow. So it's got to go up there. It can't keep going. We'd have four, so it's got to turn. This is the final one for there. It has to connect to the 11 somehow. It's got to go up there. Uh, so now we can't do both of those. We could do one of them. We can only do one of them. So we get another green down here. There's 16, so we only have five greens. We've got another green. We already knew there was a green down here anyways. Oh, well, okay. The one cannot be up here. The one cannot be up here because these four would all be unshaded. You can't have four in a row that are unshaded. So those two are unshaded, which means what? This one can't be because it would have to, you'd have to have two to be able to connect. It can't be isolated. So those are all unshaded. So it's one of these two. If it's here, it does this, but then we could we have could do the one here though and connect to the two somehow. That seems doable. Or we could do it down here. I feel like that's possible. Either one. Okay, so I think this has to be unshaded and this has to go up through here, which forces this and up there. And that's the one. So it does this, that forces this one. And now this has, in order for this to connect to the top, the part at the top, it has to come up this way. And then, we can't do both of these. So one of these has to be shaded. So we've got one down here, one up here, Two here, that's four of our unshaded cells. We can only have five unshaded cells in this section. One, two, three, four. One of these has to be, that's five, that's our five. So these have to be shaded. These have to be shaded, which forces this unshaded, which makes this the second one there. This is three in a row, so this is unshaded, which is the rest of the five. There we go, okay. Now there's one down here, there's one here. One up here that are unshaded. Right, okay. Now, that's what I needed was to see that this was unshaded, I guess. Now what can we do up here? So this is, this would be four in a row, so this is unshaded. Now we have two left in the five. If we do this one, if this is unshaded, you'd have to do both of those, and that doesn't work, just for this all to connect. So this has to be shaded. And so now you could do one more up there, but you can't do both of those. Oh, that's three in a row. So this is unshaded. And so now, again, to connect, it's got to come down here because it's got to connect through to this section and over there. So that's all forced. And we can't do both of those. We can do one of those two. But, but we can only do one more up here at most. 
So in order for this section to connect, it has to connect down here. So we're gonna get that, and now this has to be unshaded. This is shaded. Yep, yep, that's what it's gonna be. This this works. Okay. One of these two, one of the uh, we can't do both of these. So one of these two is unshaded, which means this one is shaded. We could do both of those. There we go. That's what it is. Oh man. Okay. There you go. That's the solution to that. That was um I'm definitely going to go back and fast forward through a bunch of that. That was that was bad. That was really slow. I don't know. I just couldn't see this part in the middle. I don't know how. I eventually figured out this was supposed to be unshaded right here, but I, I still don't even know how I did that. All right. Well, anyways, there's always going to be one in a group of in a group like this. There's always going to be at least one that is just a huge struggle and you just can't get for some reason. So anyways, on to the next puzzle. All right, on to a star battle. Now, I definitely know more about star battle than Acre. I'm more familiar with star battle. So these are kind of fun. I've set quite a few star battles before, too. Um, and notice we've got a C in the grid. So we're, we are spelling out Michael, I'm pretty sure. We've done M, I, and C now after Merry Christmas. So the way star battle works is we're going to place stars into cells in the grid according to the following rules. Every row, column, and region must contain two stars in this puzzle. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's one. In this puzzle, it's two stars. So we have to put two stars in each region. Uh, stars may not be adjacent to other stars, not even diagonally. You can't even do this. Stars cannot be adjacent to each other, diagonally or orthogonally. And there has to be two stars in each row, column, and region. And that is all the rules. So let's reset the puzzle, the timer, and here we go. So this region up here, um, if you think about what you can do here, you know that if you put a star somewhere, you can't put another star anywhere around it, right? So you can't put a star essentially in the middle here because it it rules out everywhere else in the grid. What is going on? I don't want to do that. Why is it? There we go. Wow. Okay. So basically, we can't put a star in here. We do have a star in each of these two dominoes, but we don't really know which spot yet, but we know there's a star in that domino, so we can put a dot at the border like that. Uh, let's see, where else can we do an easy one like that? Um, essentially, any two by two region can only have one star in it, right? If you if you think about it, you put one here, you can't have one there. One here, you can't have one there. So we know we could have one star in here, and then the other star would have to be down here, but we don't necessarily have to have a star in there because we could actually do something like this. Um, so where do we want to start? Now, here is different. Here is different. We can put one in this two by two. We can put one in this two by two, which is going to have to be in one of these three. So there's one in there. There's one in there. Those are the two in these regions. We know that. Um, okay, let's look down here. We've got three regions at the bottom. There has to be two stars in each region. So that's six stars. Those regions are only in three rows, and you can only have six stars in three rows. So the six stars in those three rows have to be in those three regions. We can't have a star in any of those. And now we've got one in this. The other one has to be there. We can rule out that. That makes a domino there. There we go. So that's a star. We can rule all of these out. Uh, and what else do we know? We know there has to be two stars in this row, and you can only put one in these three cells over here. And so the other one has to be there, and that's going to be both of our stars in that column. They have to be like that, and we can eliminate those. The other one is going to be over here. Now, wherever you put it in these three cells, it's going to rule out those two cells for sure. Ah, now look at this. This region here now has all of its cells in column one except for one. It has to have two stars in it, but you can only put one star in that first column because we already have a star in this domino. So the other star has to be right there, which is gonna rule all of these out. It gives us the two stars up there, which rules out the rest of that row. And now the only place to put them in this region are those two. And down, where do we wanna look now? We've got, okay, so that finishes off the column because there's one in this region and one at the top. So now you have to have one in this domino, one there. 
We can rule all of those out. Now we finished off the second column, which means this is not, that's there. That finishes off that column, which puts one in there and there, which means you can't put them next to the dominoes. Those two dominoes are the rest of that column. So we can do all of that. And now this big C-shaped region is running out of possibilities for stars. We still have a few options left, but uh, we need to have, we've got two dominoes down here, just like we had before, because this is now just a two by three region here. Uh, this is similar. We can do, we, we have one in this two by two and one in this sort of L shape. Um, no, we don't. That's wrong. That's wrong. Because we've already got one in that region right here. Yep. 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 So that's not right. But where do we want to look next? Oh, we've already finished this row. So this whole big C-shape region now has two possibilities down here. And only only one can be up here in these three. We, now they don't, we could do just these two, right? We don't know yet, but we can only have one. So we have to have one in at least one of these two. But look right here, this region has two stars. We've already got two stars in those two rows. The other two stars in those two rows are gonna be in that region. So we can eliminate this. So now there's gotta be one up here and there's gotta be one right there. Now, where do we wanna go from there? So there has to be one in one of these three to finish the row, which means you can't put one there. And so now we've got two kind of L-shaped regions. So one of them has to be in here. One of them has to be in here. And where can we do more than that? I don't think we know more than that yet. We've got... Ah, up here in this row, there's got to be one in one of these three, so we can rule that one out. Those two, there's one in here. There's got to be two in this region. And only one can be in that row. So one has to be in this domino, which rules that one out, which puts one in this domino. Okay, now we've got three in these two columns already. The domino, this little L, and this domino. One, two, three. We need one more, which is going to have to be in one of these three. So we can rule that one out. One, two, three. The other one could be here, potentially. We don't really know. Oh, look, we got two stars in this column. Two stars in the column, which puts that one there, rules those out, puts one there, rules those out. There we go. That finishes the row, which means this one's here, which puts that one down there, which finishes this row. Oop, went too far. Uh, now, in this region, we've only got uh, a few options. These two, this one here. This column is done. This column is done. We've got a star and a domino, so we can do that. It gives us a star there. Now this row is done, which means this one is in this domino down here. Now we've got a domino, a domino, a domino. That's three stars in these two columns. The fourth star in those two columns has to be right there. Now, where do we go from there? Ah, this domino rules both of those out. So now where can we put a second star in this column? Right there. It's not there. The only place for a star in this region and the first column is right there, which rules out that one, which was already ruled out because we had two in that region. And our final star goes... Oh, not final star. Another star. goes. Right, final star in this region goes there, which rules out both of those. Let's put stars in there. And now... Oh, how do we get... The, oh, right here, this star. Yep, that's the one right there and right there. There we go. Very nice. All right, well... Again, I felt slow, but it's been a while since I've done one of these, so that's okay. Much faster than the acre, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, we had our C. Let's move on and see what puzzle is going to be our H. All right, for our H, we have a curve data. Now, I don't think I have ever done a curve data, so this should be interesting. Um, we're going to draw non-intersecting lines between the centers of cells so that every line in the grid intersects exactly one clue symbol. So we're gonna draw some lines, um, you know, something like this. It's a line, obviously. It could be some weird pattern like this too. Um, 
Clue symbols indicate how segments in the corresponding line connect to each other. So they're all H's in this puzzle. So the H could be, um, I mean, it could be a standard looking H. It could also be like a super long stretched out H. These could be really long. Something like this would work. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be the proportions. It's just showing how the lines are connected to each other. If that makes sense. And lines may not enter black blocks. We don't have any black blocks in this one. And every white cell in the grid must be part of a line. And our H's cannot cross each other. They're not intersecting. So when it says a line, it really means like a shape, I guess. Because I feel like an H is kind of like three lines. But anyways, that is, I think, how this works. So, let's... All right, so let's see, what can we do? Um, so well, this one clearly has to extend down this way. And, and to make an H, now it can be, you know, super long and weird proportions, but it has to make an H, so it's got to come down farther. I don't think you can do like this. I don't think that works. I think it has to be crossed, so it has to come at least down there. Now, if we come across this way, we'd have to come, you know, we couldn't do this because it would have to stick up into that H. We'd have to come farther, and then this H wouldn't really be able to make an H at that point. Now, could we do this? No, because again, this H wouldn't really be able to make an H. So the crossbar can't go across there. I'm gonna call these uprights and crossbars. I don't know if those are the right terms, but <laughs> could it come across here is the question. No, no, because this has to have at least, right. For an H to be an H, it has to have at least three cells for the upright because the crossbar has to be able to come somewhere from in the, in between so it has to have at least three cells so it has to do this and this one has to do the same now this one doesn't necessarily have to start it could start there it could go up or down but these on the edge of the grid have to go at least three at least three and, be, and that h can't be the middle uh the h can't be the crossbar on these either because it's in the middle now this one could also be like the crossbar of the h i think i don't think it has to have the upright through the H. The upright has to be through the H here, but we don't know if it goes up or down. Now this, we have to use every cell on the grid too. So let's think about that. Like if this goes over here, what's gonna what's gonna be in that one? There's nothing there. So this has to be this way, yep. Now this side could stick down farther, but it has to do at least that. Now this one could come from either of these, couldn't it? But we know this comes down farther it has to go, oh, and the only place it can have a crossbar is right here. So it has to do that. It has to stick down here. So now this one can't go to the left. So the only way to get a line into the corner is to do that. This has to go this way. And again, if it goes over here, you're going to have an empty cell, just like we were with the top. So this has to be a short one. This now has to continue because it can't go up and down there. This one's got to come across here. It's got to be, I think it's got to be a short one, right? What's going to get into this cell if this comes over farther? Nothing. So it's got to be just a, a, a wide one, uh, a narrow one, a narrow one, a non-wide one. Now, to get up into here, we could use either one of these, I suppose. Um, interesting. This could come way over here, potentially. These two cannot be connected to each other. So the uprights got to go. Hmm. I feel like this short one's going to be in here, but it could be this one still, too. Oh, it can't go down there, but it could go down like that. So which ones can get into this corner? It could be this one. It could be this one if it came all the way over, but then you'd have a bunch of empty stuff up here. So that one can't get into the corner. And if this one goes into that corner, again, you're going to have empty stuff there. So I think what needs to happen is this one needs to go up there, and this one needs to be like this. Now these could extend down farther potentially. And so now if this came over here, yeah, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. And if this goes here, this one, this is this still, no, it's not doable because in whichever direction you go, you can't go up then. So I think this one has to go up there. This one has to go over here. This one has to go, you could go farther because this could stick down in and this one could stick up. So it could be wider. 
But this one's got to be here. Again, this could stick down. Um... Ah, this can't go down here because it has to go up and down. So it can't, it's got to keep going. And now it can't go down there either. It's got to keep going. It can't stick into that H. It can't, can't go here because it would have to go up into that H. Can't go down to this H. It's got to go all the way over to here at least. Which means this one has to fill in here. Uh, now nothing can fill into this space. So this one's got to drop down, which means it goes up there. This could be down. This could go here. Probably like this. Is what I'm thinking. This is going to go all the way down here. Oh, but that doesn't work. Because this one has to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up and down. Uh, and we can do this, though. We can do, th oh, no, because this, this has to go down, too. So the, this far H can't extend down here. So it's got to be... Uh, can we do that? No, we can't. Okay, that's a problem. Let's go back. Let's go back. Um... Okay, that one doesn't necessarily have to stick down. Can we do this, though? We can't do this because this one has to be able to go up at some point. And it has to go up at the same place it comes down, so it can't go up right there. But it can't go up at any of these other ones. But if this one comes like all the way down here, then it would have to use those, and then this one wouldn't be able to go down. Which means this one has to stick up, but that means this one can't... Interesting, interesting. Where does this long one here go up? It, it could go up right here, but then it can't come down. And anywhere else it goes up, it messes up the other H's that are in there. So, maybe this H goes this way. Like this. And then this one, yup. And then this one can come over here and down there. And like this, and down here, there we go. And, th oh, but then this is, uh, almost, it almost worked. Oh no, so close. This can go here, and this, uh. <laughs> But if this goes here, and this one goes over here, then there's nothing in that spot. This is so close, there's just one cell that's missing a thing. The problem is this long, this wide one needs to go up and down at some point. Which means this has to have its crossbar. Over here. Which then means... Oh, 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 what if we do... Oh, this comes down here. Look at that. That is clever. I like that. Very nice. It took me a long time to find it, but I like that. Very cool. Very nice. Okay. All right. Well, another slow one. That's okay. All right. On to an A for aquarium. So we've got another nice A in the grid here. Um, now, aquarium is an interesting puzzle type. I've done a few of these before, but it's been a while. Um, so we're going to fill some cells with water. And the water level must be constant within a region. So you can think of a region like a, a jug or a bowl or something, and you're pouring water into the top. So like this region right here, if you could pour water in and it could be at this level. You couldn't have water like this because the water would sink down and fill in, right? Um, over here, you couldn't do water like this and then over here because this water over here would level out and would kind of slosh over like that, right? So you can't, it has to be level. You can't just fill part of a row within a region. But you could, however, have water like this in the A and then only have water like this in this one over here because the regions are their own containers. The water doesn't flow from region to region. Uh, 
And numerical clues outside the grid indicate the number of filled cells in each row or column. So the numbers tell us how many total cells, not necessarily consecutive, like the four here could be two and one and one, you know, something like that, right? So, all right, let's reset the timer and see how this one goes. Okay, well, let's start at this four here because we've got seven cells. These, you could do these two if you fill all below it, right? You could fill these two, you could fill these two, <laughs> if I can click on them right, or you can fill this one, but if you do that one, there's no way to make three because the others are sets of two, so this one cannot be filled. Now down here, we've got a similar problem. We've got one, 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 two, actually four, one, one, one. So if you don't do these four, you can only do three. So we have to do those four, therefore. And so we have to fill all of them in below. So we've got five. Now we need to do one of these on either side. Um, if, if we, oh, we don't necessarily have to do this one though, because we could do the rest of these five. I was gonna say, if we don't fill that one, we're not gonna be able to get five, but we could. Um, hmm. We could do this one, it'd be both of those. That would fill, that would be the two there. Uh, we've got these three, so we either need to do both of these or both of these. And here we've got two, but we've got a few options. We've got three ones or two, a double there. Oh, we can't do these two because we've already got three. We wouldn't be able to fill that one, and that wouldn't work. The water can't be at the top of the thing. So we can't do these two. So we have to have two of these other ones. And one of them, one of them, okay, one of the six, one of them in the six row is going to be filled and one is oh but we could still fill both of these even though only one of those two is going to be filled i was going to say one of them has to be here but that's not true that's wrong we can only fill these two if we fill this whole region so what if we don't fill those two it would have to be both of these and we would have to do these two that seems okay I think that's fine. We've got three here, so we know this one isn't filled, right? Because it would have to do the one below it, which would be too many, which means we don't fill these across here. But we could still fill those other two there. Well, we've got four here, and it's three, three, and one. So the one has to be filled, for sure, because it's one and three. So we're gonna fill one of these two and not the other one. So if we fill this one, then that's not gonna be filled either. I mean, my instinct says we're not gonna fill these two because we've only got a two over here. But that's not necessarily true. We've got four here. So we can't do this one. We can't do this one because we've already got four in this column. No, we don't. No, no, no. That's because I colored this one temporarily. If we do that one, right, if we do that one, we have to do this one. So we have to do both of those, which then means those are not filled. If we do those two, otherwise we do these two. And then these would not be filled. And you would have to do these two. Either way, these two aren't getting filled, but we don't really care. The point is we either fill both of these or neither of these which then means we either fill both of these or neither of these. And we have to fill one of those two, because look, we need to do five. We've only got three at the top, plus the one we've already got is four. So one of these, this one has to be filled. This one has to be filled. And so if we don't fill this one, we fill that, which forces us to fill that. But then we've already got our two. And we can't fill any of these. And we need to fill... Oh, uh, we just fill both of those. That works though. Why did I think that wasn't gonna work? I don't know why. For some reason I thought that wasn't gonna work, but it does. It totally works. Oh, but, but then we can't fill this. Okay, so it doesn't work. Okay, so we know this one is filled. Three tells us we can only fill one more of these two. But if we do this one, it has to be that one as well. Okay, so if 
we don't fill these, we have to fill both of these. But if we don't fill these, then we can't fill this one, which means we have to fill this one. But then we're going to have too many for the three. Right? Is that right? Am I just talking in circles here? I don't know. I think what I've decided is these have to be filled. That's what I'm saying. And I think this has to be filled. And then this is two, this is five, three. If we do both of these, we have to do both of those, which then means we do that. That seems to work. Five, these are not filled. That's our three. So these are not filled. We've got four, four, six, two, three, four. Can't fill these. Ah, but then we can't fill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that doesn't work. Huh. Okay. So we do that. That one's not filled. So it's going to be these two. It's going to be like this. That's what it's going to be. And these. No, we can't do that. We can't do that. So maybe these can't be. <laughs> okay. So in order to get five, we've either got to do this one and this one. Okay. That's the problem. To get five, we could do both of these, but these would both have to be filled, which would be too many for the three. So these cannot be filled. These are filled, which means these are filled. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so we're not doing those. We've got three. We've got to do two more. Uh, here, the four. So we can't do these, so it's these are filled. Um, one. We need to do one more, so we can't do this one, which means this is. That's five. Uh, we've got two. We need to get two more. It could be these. Oh, it has to be these two to get the three. These are not, so the second one is there. And that, and one, two, three, four, so this is five. There we go. Oh, man. I, I don't know. I, w I felt like I was talking in circles in the middle there. I was saying, well, you can't do this because of that, and so you have to do it, but you can't because of that. And <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure you guys probably saw it much farther ahead of me on that one. But anyways, that was an aquarium. We filled all the water. Moving on to the next one. <clears throat> All right, next up is a Slitherlink. And I'm starting to think that maybe doing 21 puzzles in a row in one sitting is um, not the best plan. But, you know, at this point, I'm just going to finish it. So uh, I don't even remember what letter we're on. Uh, which one is this? So uh, it's probably E. Did we do A? I think we did A on the last one. Yeah, Aquarium was A. So this is going to be E. We've only got two puzzles left. Only got two puzzles left. So let's let's focus our brain. As we descend into insanity, and <laughs> see what we can do here. Uh, I can already kind of see where the E is going to be drawn. But anyways, Slitherlink, the rules. Connect the dots in the grid orthogonally. So we can't do diagonal connections. We just have to draw orthogonal connections. Create a non-intersecting loop according to the following rules. Another non-intersecting loop, just like usual. A numbered cell indicates how many of its four sides are part of the loop. So this three is going to have three of its sides as part of the loop, something like that. This one is only going to have one of its sides, something like that. And that's all. That's it. That's the whole thing. So let's uh, reset the timer. Okay. Well, we know the zeros in the corners tell us we're not going to go around the outside. Um, now, if we came across here, we would dead end. So we can't do that. Same here. These are all zero, 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 zero. Same deal with these ones. We can't dead end there. Okay. Uh, zeros here. Zeros here. So there's no way to come over here because you're going to get stuck no matter which direction you go. So we just need to stay out of this area. Same thing here. Stay out of here. Stay out of here. There we go. We can't come in here. We'll dead end. Um, yes. Ah, we can't come in here because we'd have to come back out there and there would be two of them around that one. Same deal here. Can't come in here, you'd get stuck. Uh, it's right here, same thing, you'd get stuck. You can't do the one twice. Right here, uh, right here. Those are all the same problem. Now, there's only the only place you can put one on these ones is right there. Same down here, those ones. Um, now, from there, we could come this way. 
yeah, we could. Or we could go through there. But we can't come back around here. Because again, you get stuck. It's a dead end. Uh, these two, it's the, the grid is symmetrical top to bottom, I noticed. So you're going to be doing kind of the same things at the top and the bottom. Um, oh, these are all zeros too, so we can't come through there. All right. Now, the two here... Um, yeah, there's a few ways we could do that still. Uh, this one is... Okay, so the three. The three. Let's look at the three. Do we want to look at the three? Oh, we've got zeros here. Let's mark the zeros. Let's mark the zeros. See what that does for us. Um, the three. Right, so the three... You're going to have, if you have three sides, it means you have a gap at one end, right? Wherever the gap is, so this situation right here is impossible. Because where is this one going to go down here? It can't go left, it can't go down, it can't go up. So this this cannot be the gap. This has to have a line. Now, could the gap be over there? Well, actually, first of all, could the gap be down here? No, for the same reason, right? So this one has to have a line. So we know those... We can do the same thing down here the other direction. We know that's true. Now, the gap could be at the top. It could be at this side. I think either way works there. But we know that much. Now, ah, we can't go here because you'd have to turn and you'd have two of them around the ones. We can't do that. Can't do this. Likewise, we can't go here. So... This two can only have one of these two sides, so it has to have at least one of these other two sides. But we don't know which one. This two. This two? Which one do we want to look at? What if we came down here? Is that a problem? Yeah, because we can't... Right, so if we come across here, it has to turn up or down, Either way, it's then going to have to turn again, and you're going to have three around those two. So you actually can't come through the middle there. And if we... We can't do both of these, because this is then stuck. And if we can't do both of those, we have to do this one. Which then forces it this way, which forces it this way, and that way, which means we can't do there, because we've already got two on those. Okay, nice. Now we can't come across here, because it would dead end. Um, so this has to keep going through, which finishes the ones, which forces it to keep going, which finishes that one. This two needs a second one, but it could be over here. We don't actually know yet. It could cut down through there. Um, but it definitely goes straight or down. Can't come through there. We come down here. Yeah, we could do something like that. That would work. But we know we can't do both of these. Do we have to do one of them? What if we did this? Yeah, then the, you couldn't get two around the two without dead ending. So you have to do one of those two. So we can't do either of those because we have to do one of these two. Whichever one we do, it then has to escape out this way. Because you can't do both of them which forces the loop to come around here. That's already the two, so it's got to come there. That's the one. Forces it this way. That's the one there. This has to keep going here. It's going to have to turn. That's the second one for the two. We've got all of that. That's good. Now, this one... Could it be like this? And not have that one. I feel like it could. Or it could turn up. If it turned up, it couldn't go this way. Then it could still wrap around here somehow, you know. No, 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 no. If it went up here, it would have to turn, but then it would have to come back out, which would put three around that other two. So this can't go up and over there, but it can't go up and over here, because it's... If this comes up here, it can't turn, but it also can't go straight because then it would have to turn, and it would end up doing too many up there. So, it could it turn this way? No, no, it can't, because this two is the problem here. So it can't, it basically can't go up that way, is what I'm saying. So the second one has to be here, which has to come this way. That's the two. It's forced this way, forced up there. That's the two there, that's the two there. It's forced that way, this is forced out. That's the two for that one. This one is already done. 
So it's got to keep going that way. And now this has to be the gap. We have to do all of that. There we go. Now, um, if this goes straight, it can't come up and around, right? So it would have to keep going straight. And it would have to keep going straight again because it would already have the one. And now it would have to oh, it could go straight through. We can't ever go up to the top, I don't think. Unless, unless we go up to the top right away and go straight down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We can. This one is forced to go straight, which is the last one for that. This one is forced to go straight. Last one for the two. I feel like I already did that. Or maybe that was just up here. Oh, right, because it's the same logic. Ah, I already said. It's, it's a mirror image. We can do the same logic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. Okay. Now, this has to somehow get over here. And only touch one. If this if this comes up here, it can't turn. It would have to go straight, but then there's no way for it to connect over here. So it can't do that. So it's got to go straight through here, which then means these are like that, and you can't go up and around. So it just has to go straight through. It just has to go straight through is essentially what that means. And we can't turn and go up there. So again, we've got to go. I think just straight through again. There we go. And that drew an E shape. Now it would have been easier if I just said, oh, it's going to be an E, and I drew an E. But I was trying to do it the right way. But very nice E shape there. Okay, cool. All right, I think this is the final puzzle and it is an L puzzle, clearly, as you can see. This is a pentominus. So the way pentominus works is we're gonna put pentominoes in the grid. Now you remember, may remember we did tetrominoes earlier, which were four cell shapes. These are five cell shapes. Um, there are more of them because there's more possible ways to do five cells. So I'm gonna put on the screen there, there's all of the uh, possible shapes. You've got the F, the I, the L, the N, the P, the T. They all have letters associated with them. They all roughly look like those letters. Um, and the N is a little funky, but <laughs> um, anyway, so those are the possible shapes, but basically just any way you can connect five cells orthogonally. Um, it, you don't necessarily have to know the names unless it has the letters in the grid. And this one's only L's. So we're dividing the grid into regions along grid lines according to the following rules. Each region must contain exactly five orthogonally connected cells, a pentomino. A letter in a region indicates the shape of its pentomino. So all of these L's will have to be in an L pentomino. Um, a region can contain only, any number of identical letters, including zero. So these two L's here could actually be part of the same L, potentially, or different ones. You can have more than one letter in the same shape. Um, identically shaped pentominoes cannot share a region boundary. They may, however, touch at corners. So you can't put an L and another L like that because they share a boundary. But you could do an L like this and they could touch at a corner. That would be fine. So let's reset the timer and see how we do. So knowing that two of the same shape cannot share a region boundary means we can't actually put a boundary right there and have these L's be in different L's. So all of these where they're touching each other, they have to be in the same one. Now this L could be with these L's or maybe not. We, we don't really know. Um, now it's interesting, we've only got L's in here, but clearly we're gonna have to do other shapes besides L's because you can't fill the grid with only L's or they would be sharing borders. So this L here means that it's got to be like this, right? Like that's the only option. We don't know whether it sticks down this way or this way, but it has to do that little bit at the corner. Now this cell right here cannot be part of an L therefore. So it must be a different shape, which then has to at least come out here. Actually, no, we do know which way the L goes, because if it comes down here, it's going to share a border with this cell, which is in an L. So it has to go this way. Yep. So, uh, let's see. And this one, two, it has to be five cells. So it has to at least come down to here. Now, it could be a lot of different things from there. Now, oh, this can't. this cell right here can't be part of this L, because it would be sharing an edge with that L. So this has to be a separate one here which means this L goes like this somehow. And again, it can't keep going. It would touch these L's. I see a pattern forming here. Um, this one has to do the same thing. This one has to do the same thing. Yep, yep. This one now can't touch 
can't go left or down, or it would be sharing an edge with an L, so it has to go this way, and it can't stick up. Can it stick up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, there's only nine cells there. So it's gotta go this way. So that way we can have 10 cells here, and it's gotta be uh, an N and an I like that. This one is either gonna be, uh, I think that's a V like that, or it's gonna be another N, it could go either way. Now this black region over here is just not part of the grid, I believe. That doesn't count as an L, even though it's an L shape. Um, this L here, mm, I could do a few different things, I guess, actually. This here though, this is either an I or an N. Well, this cell can't be another L. These are all either I's or N's. If it's two, three, four. No, 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 that's wrong. That's not an I or an N. I don't know how to count. It's already one, two, three, four. It's either here, which makes it an L, and it can't be an L, or it's an I. It has to be an I. Same here. One, two, three, four. It either turns and is an L, or it becomes an I. This has to be an I. There we go. Okay. So those are all I's. Now that it's an I, these two cells cannot be part of an L, but they also cannot be part of an I, which they can't be part of an I anyways because we have the L down here. So this L here can only stick up at most that far. But it could do something like this, I suppose. That's theoretically possible. Except no, it's not, because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The two shapes in there would have to stick into there, and you'd have a single cell by itself. So the L actually can't do that. And it can't go up any higher than this, or you'd have two isolated cells. So it actually can't go up at all. It has to do, now could it go this way? Is that possible? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is possible. But this would then have to be an L, and we can't do an L. So we can't do that. So I think this L has to go this way. I don't think there's any other option there. Which means this L cannot touch it. Um, it could it go up this way? No, because there's not enough. Oh, yeah, there is. There's there's five. This is two, four. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. It can't, you can't do 17. So that's not going to work. It's got to go this way. Because you're not going to be able to put 5 cell shapes in a 17 cell area. It just doesn't work. So, this is... Four, um, this, this comes down 3. It could go over... It can't go over and down because this cell will be isolated. It can't go over and over because this cell will be isolated. So it basically can't go over. So it's got to come down. It's four. And then it could either do this, which would be an L, but it can't be an L. So it's got to be the, uh, that's not the N. What's that? That's the Y maybe? I can't even remember now. Let's look back at the things. That is the Y. Yeah, that's the Y. Okay. There we go. Not that it really matters. We don't have to label them. But um, now, where do we go from here? So these two, these three all have to be together. We can't do another Y. So we can't do an L or a Y because it's touching an, a Y and an L. So we can't go down. That would be four. The next one would either have to make an L or make a Y. So we go here, we can't go down. We've got a turn. We could do an N. We could do a T. Those are the options, but I think it has to use this cell. We can't go there. We can't go over here. So it's got to use this cell. That's not what I wanted to do. You can do this. There we go. It's got to use that one. Could take either of these though. Now over here, these two are together. Uh, maybe we'll look up here. These four. Now it could go here or here. If it was here, then you're going to do three, four, five, which doesn't work because then you'd have an isolated one. So you can't do that. So this one's got to go over. So we're going to do. Uh, an, an N, that's an N, yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is gonna have to be, so there's, if we use this cell as part of this thing up here, then you're gonna have an isolated one. So this has to be the empty one. 
that's not that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, there we go. So it has to be a P. One, two, three. I think this is going to be another Y in here. And then we've got maybe that and that. There we go. Perfect. So we did, uh, is this an N? Yeah, this is an N. And a W and an S and another Y, I think. Yeah. Either way, we got all the shapes in there. That's all that really matters. So there we go. I think that is the end of the puzzles. Yep. And the letters spelled out Merry Christmas, Michael, which is the name of the whole group of puzzles up there. So very cool. Thank you to Piotr V and Michael for um, sending, making the puzzles and allowing me to make the, uh, to solve the puzzles. And um, very cool. Very neat. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I struggled on a couple of them, but that's to be expected. So if you, if you tried these puzzles, let me know how they went for you and which one you thought was the hardest. And if you had trouble on the same ones as I did, or if you thought those were easy or not, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Here's an interesting question. Which song has spent the most time at number two on the Billboard Top 100? Without oh, okay. making it to oh, that was really one. good. On the left, awesome. LA over here, okay, it is L and T, just like I was thinking now. Alf Alphabet. Alphabet. There we go, that's a good one.